What's up guys? Moss Hydro Teams here. Ruby? Tina. Today we are going to show you how to test the par value. It is known to us that uh, looming is to human, but par is to the plants. So it's very important to test the right par value. You can choose the right light for your indoor growing. However, some companies give wrong information and mislead our customers in testing par value, in which the only text test to the partial points and in this way causes our growners end up with buying the wrong lights. Oh what's wrong with my babies? Oh so it is very important for us to know how to test the right part value. Okay, now we'll show you what tools we will use to test the power value. First, the light meter. And you'll get this uh, in every hydroponic stores. And this one, one tape measure. You can also get this everywhere in the supermarket. Right, and now it's a light. We will test the two lights. One is our 700 watt standard and another is we made that specially for this test. The same size, same wattage, same spectral, only with the secondary lens. Take a close look. Okay. And last but not the least, uh, this one is white paper. Uh, there are several, uh, 25 actually, on this paper. We were going to test. And this paper is 3 by 3 feet, which is within the coverage of our Mars 2 700. And we will not only test the center part, and we will do readings every 6 inches from the center of the light. So, all these, um, all these points will be marked to the part value. In this way, you can get a much more clear picture of the part data accurate accurately uh, from the lights. So I'm so excited. Yeah. So now let's <laughs> play the game. <laughs> Uh, before the test, I want to show you. Uh, we make several white paper, the smaller size of the white paper we will uh, uh, taste, and we mark the points at the same ratio. You can see this, and we will mark the par value at this each point, so you have a, a much more clear picture. And after that, we will use the color pen, and we will use the uh, red and like this warm dark color to mark the high part value arrow and use the cold color to mark the lower part value so in this way you can have a much more clear picture in your mind and okay now let's begin the taste we are going to taste the 700 standard lights without the secondary lens first and again at the beginning we will test the 24 inches and which is 60, 60 centimeters. 60, check this out. secondary lens will affect the part value. Uh, again, this is our 700 watt uh, with secondary lens light and uh, we'll start with uh, 24 inches which is uh, 60 centimeters. 60, see? Okay, we'll begin the test. Centimeters. 
will show you the result. Let's see. From the comparison graphs of the two lights at the heights of 24, 18, and 12 inches, we see from the light first light data, which is our standard Mars 2 700 watt light without lens, very balanced power value. Not very high in the center, but also not very low at the sides. In this way, all your plants within the coverage will shield the balanced lights and grow very good at the same time. From the second light data, which is our Mars 2 700 watt light with secondary lens, we see imbalanced power value, very high in the center, but very low at the sides. Thus, the lights your plants get within the coverage is imbalanced. It is dramatic difference in the second light graph, which means your plants can only grow under the center of the light. Okay, I know you are all wondering why there is a big difference between these two lights. Now we will explain it to you. Actually, the lens itself will concentrate the lights together, the center of the light to be specific. Therefore, in the center, power value will be very high. But, as the total power value one light will give out will not change. Therefore, once you get very high power value in the center, you will get lower power value at the sides. Some companies use this information about the lens feature to mislead our customers. They only tell you the center part, which is absolutely wrong. Also, the secondary lens itself has several kinds of degrees. The smaller the degree is, the bigger the power value you will get. Uh, the secondary lens we use on our 700 watt light is 19 degree ones. If any companies can find 60 degree ones, they can show you much more higher power value in the center. But you will get less coverage as well. Correct. About this one, we want to show you how to test the right power value. Stop letting the wrong way to mislead you anymore. Take more things into consideration and you will get the right light. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.